everyone, I'm Wanna with Xinhua News Agency. I'm at Fei County. The Fei City is China's Anhui province. Now it's already midnight, but the construction site behind me is illuminated almost like daytime. Right now, more than 1,300 workers are changing the route of a high-speed railway to make way for a mega water diversion project. Let's have a look. It's estimated that it takes seven hours to complete this project. We need to find a period during which no high-speed train is scheduled to pass by. Honestly, this is not an easy task. So we have more than 1,300 workers here to operate more than 90 large machines to tamp down the foundation and to make sure there is no mistake. This railway diversion project will last for six more hours. Wait until morning for the first high-speed train passing by through the new route. Then the project is officially finished. Now you know why China's infrastructure constructions are always beyond your imagination. A project like this is a task of technique, coordination, and enforcement. You need to witness one to appreciate the wonder. The Yangtze to Huaihe water diversion project, as long as 723 kilometers, will take water from the Yangtze River to the Huaihe River to supply 15 cities along the canal. The main construction is scheduled to be completed by 2022. The railway behind me is known as Hurong High Speed Railway, which links Shanghai, Wuhan, and Chengdu City. It had been operating since 2009 with the design speed of 250 km per hour. The problem is that a shipping channel is part of the water diversion project, but the existing railway bridge upon this shipping channel is not wide or high enough for ships to travel beneath. Chinese engineers then came up with a plan which is to build a new railway bridge nearby and to connect the old route to it. Workers need to divert a part of the high-speed railway as long as 4.5 kilometers. There is no such case to refer to. This is the first two-way high-speed railway diversion project in China.